Your 16 month old's brain is in high gear right now. They are actually learning two new words a day. And this will happen throughout this one year old age range. So their receptive language, the language that they're understanding is exploding. And their, you know, even if their expressive language is, is not a lot of words yet, know that they are understanding so much. So keep talking to them, keep having those little conversations, those back and forth means so much to them right now. And so we have all of these developmental tips and understanding of all the different nuances of what's happening at this stage in the play guide. We also have a lot of ideas of how to play and make the most of your playtime with these activities. And then we have a bunch of other ideas, kind of like the best of Pinterest in the back with items that you already have in your home. So they're so active right now. It really is about the activities, but having the right ideas for the activities that are just going to tune into what's happening with your child's development right now will make such a difference. And that, this, that's what this play guide is all about. So this is the race and chase ramp. And this ramp is really fun because your child is going to be working on eye tracking. As the cars go down the ramp, they're also gonna be working their fine motor skills. So the orientation of the car matters. So they can't put it in like this or it'll get stuck but it's also very forgiving. So it's really forgiving for that toddler kind of clunky, clunkiness and being able to work their hands. You know, you can put the car in almost any way and it will go down. So kind of throw the car down and it will make it. Later, this toy really extends their learning by doing learning early turn taking. So sharing doesn't happen until about four. We all think that our children should share much earlier than they do. But turn taking is sort of a precursor and being able to have your turn to put the car down and then my turn to put the car down is that very kind of beginning learning on sharing. The second thing is that you can also experiment with what else goes down this track. And so these beads are really fun. They also go down the track and they go down at different speeds. And so you can really enhance their learning as they master this the car track and they start to understand you know, that there's different things will go down at different rates. The garden puzzle is a progression of skills. So the first puzzle, the circle of friends, shapes puzzle, orientation of the shapes did not matter. It was really about how big the circles were that matter. So they were really understanding the size difference in that puzzle. Now we're progressing your toddler's learning about orientation and organic shapes. So these carrots will come out and it does not fit in any other way than matching the picture inside the puzzle. This knob is actually um, really promotes fine motor precision. And so it's smaller and it requires that pincer grasp. So they're really working their pincer grasp to get these pieces out and then again, orient them to be just the right way. This is this wooden stacking pegboard. Woo. And there are two different ways to, to insert the pegs into this pegboard. So it's got multi-functions. One is to stack up. So oftentimes we find that children will want to build taller and taller towers, and it's really fun to build those towers together. And when you get really tall, it will start to lean over and then fall down. The second um, way for toddlers to learn and play with this is to insert these pegs inside these holes. And this again requires that fine motor skills that they're so working on a high desire to complete. So they really want to complete filling in these pegs into all of these holes. They have a higher desire for completion in this because again, this is working that fine motor precision. Later, it is really great for numeracy games. So understanding, there's a word called subitization, which means being able to estimate. And saying words like, I have some of the pegs, you have some of the pegs, I have less pegs, you have more pegs. You could even hand your child, I have, here is one peg, can you hand me two pegs? Really gives us a, a great tool for that early number learning. It's also really great for color matching. So it's really fun to be able to identify the colors. They might say that, you know, red, they might have a favorite color word, they might call the blue pegs red. That means that they're understanding the concept of color. Even if they're not naming the colors correctly, they're really getting the concept of color. This is a really great multi-purpose toy. Max and Nana go to the park. This is one of our favorites, and this is one of our toddler's favorites too. Really what, what emotional, social, emotional learning happens so much through books. Research shows that the more you expose your children to books and stories of other children having real life experiences, this is little Max, 
He goes to the park, which is a very relatable experience for toddlers, going in the swing, climbing, running, and having so much fun, and then he falls. And your child, you will find, will likely really want to zero in on this page and will be empathizing with Max and really understanding that Oh, he's got an owie. And you can see that there's an owie in this picture. And then he gets a Band-Aid and he starts to feel better. And again, he's building his resilience by going back to play. But again, that social emotional learning happens so much through books and through relatable, retellable stories of children that are in real life images in stories that they can relate to. You may think that your 16 month old is not yet ready to thread beads, but they are. So we start with the speed threading kit has multiple levels of challenge for your toddler's fine motor skills. This is actually, this shape is the easiest bead to thread because even if they're a little finger, they're using their bilateral coordination. So both sides of their brain, they have to use one hand to hold, the other hand to place the bead on top. Um, is, is actually, they can still be successful if they put their first, their finger, up high on this dowel. And so they put the bead on and then they can alternate their hand and the bead thread goes in. Whereas that did not happen with these larger beads. And you'll find that your child is gonna to have to experiment and will really work to figure this out. They need to move their one hand down lower in order for this second bead to thread. So this is a really great extended bead threading kit that you will find your child will have a lot of desire to focus and, and pay attention to figuring this out. This is the fuzzy bug shrub and in this toy your child is really starting to learn how to peel and stick so they have to stick these little fuzzy bugs onto the fuzzy bug shrub. They can open the container and they can put them in and peel them off and put them and hide them inside and then take them out again and they will want to do this over and over and over again. So this is a really great uh, plaything to bring on the go. Um, it's great for the car. Um, they can really practice this, this skill and it's also great for vocabulary development. We have butterfly and dragonfly and bee, caterpillar, ladybug. It can be all their little friends. So enjoy this special time. It is just such a sweet age range. I remember when mine was 16 month old. It was just one of my absolute favorite ages.